Do you remember the big New York blackout? Sure. Caused by a Canadian hydroelectric plant at Niagara Falls. The Canucks claimed that it was a faulty transmitter. <laughs> we had reason to suspect otherwise. Why? Why do you? These Canadians suffer from a serious inferiority complex. That's why they built this. Canadian National Tower, world's tallest freestanding structure. Our scientists can't figure out its purpose. Huh. Now, but theirs can't either. <laughs> Canadians are always dreaming up a lot of ways to ruin our lives. The metric system, for the love of God, Celsius. Neil Young? Yes, I'm right. You're right, Gus. Of course I'm right. It was crazy of us to have been so blind for so long. But we thought, oh, shit, they're just Canadians. Yeah, they're practically the 51st state. We admired them. Clean streets, no crime, no minorities. Yeah, how'd they do that? No slavery. God, there's work. Their entire government is run by socialists. Yeah, but it's not the real pinko stuff, Gus. No, 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 no. That's why no They've always had these tendencies. Capitalism must be destroyed in all forms. What the hell is this? Did you see what I mean? We haven't been paying any attention. We think that, oh, they're a little strange with the socialized medicine stuff, but do you know that they provide free college to anyone? Free trains, free eyeglasses, free condoms. Jesus. Do your superiors know about this? Ah, that's Gutless desk mammals. Ever since I told them we'd be back from the Bay of Pigs by 10, they treated me like dirt. Well, you've done a great job here, Gus. I'm gonna make damn sure the president knows of your fine work. Like I care. <laughs>